Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Chill Film Discussion. This is episode 22. And today, we're going to be watch, uh, re sorry, discussing a film called Red Line. Um, Red Line is a... Uh, it's an animated... It's a Japanese animated sci-fi film. Uh... Produced by Madhouse and directed by Takeshi Koke, and his de de directorial debut. It was released in 2009, oh. and it stars uh, a ton of voice actors I'm not too familiar with <laughs> in terms of their Japanese voice actors. I, I yeah, well, Austin and I watched the uh, dub version of it, so English dub. Um, yeah. English dub. Uh, in terms of yeah, in terms of the recap, like. I think for this film in general, uh, I think I think the visuals were really good. I think that it was very well animated. Um, they definitely appealed to me. They hooked me from the very get go, uh, in the beginning. I think the plot itself, the main plot of the racing, um, was pretty simple. Um, it wasn't like super complicated with the premises. I mean, it's the main character. They're doing an underground race, um, and there was a lot of like the 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 the. Um, Sort of like the build up to that final race, the red line. That's what the race is called. Um, it was was and was pretty solid for the most part. Like it hit its strides, um, and then like the overall like climax with the race unfolding. That sequence, I, I thought was really like I got excited for that, and it did a really good job of like showcasing um, in terms of visually um, what like you know the the action and the overall like just the, the 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 sort of like experience of like being part of this like you know high stakes race um i for me though the 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 parts that were lacking uh were like some of the sub the subplots of this film the, the yeah the subplots felt some of the subplots felt forced uh they they were they're convoluted like I was confused, like why the whole red line was even on that Robo World planet for like a long part of the film. Um, but <laughs> that was explained away, though. That it was, was it was yeah, eventually it explained. Um, or they, yeah, it just didn't feel organic. Like those, like a lot of the subplots kind of like missed the strides uh, in, in this film. Um, right. But and I, I wish that like maybe like the, some of the subplots got like you. Just, you know, don't even like showcase it and put more time into like establishing like the the more important ones. Like for instance, the big the two big subplots in this film are JP's relationship with Sonichi and then JP's relationship with Frisbee. Um, if there was more time spent on those to establish sort of like a sort of like more I guess organic or more genuine build up for the relationship and like yeah. you know fill in the missing plot holes regarding those subplots, then like I think it could have been like a much more solid film. Uh, but overall, like, that's sort of like my biggest gripe of the film was with the was with the subplots and the execution of those subplots. I mean, props to like the the, the animation team for doing this because apparently it took seven years and a hundred thousand different like hand drawn frames yeah. to get this film to work. So like, props to that and props to like whoever made the, the premise of it to be like a high octane illegal race because it definitely lended itself to make it to to be visually appealing. Uh, given the premise and the setting of this film. So I, I really appreciated the visuals. Um, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think for me, I you know, kind of probably prepare the same things, right? Like I really love the animation. It's really, it's a very unique style. Yeah. Right. Um, and, you know, but I was still brought in, bought into it, you know, pretty quickly and, you know, in terms of, you know, you know, accepting it for it and, you know, you know, getting, you know, uh, landed and getting very comfortable um with with you know just accepting this animation but even then the animation that you know does really well in terms of showing like you know that they're racing the speed the action that's going on and that's you know very enticing right um you get to see it there's a lot of yes we said high octane moments right where they're going you know fighting against the military going guns blazing and trying to you know you know going through you know very fast speeds and that's exciting i really enjoyed watching that it's a very great you know visual um to to see and I think, you know, this was kind of overlapped also with the music. It kind of added to this environment, this high-paced, quick environment. The music was like kind of like a techno kind of feel. And I, I, I really liked and enjoyed how that kind of paired off with the animation and just the whole um, race in general. Um, as, as you said before, the story, the plot, 
itself. Um, very simple, right? With with just you know them trying to you know win the race, but mm -hmm. I, I think you kind of picked apart um, what I kind of liked about it too. It's just like you know the main thing is the relationship between Sanashi and JP, right? and that relationship I feel like it started off kind of weak and kind of um, for me at least kind of random. And I wanted to see kind of an established relationship beforehand before they actually met. And I think that would have been, for me um, been a greater starting point. Point and allow me to kind of attach and be, feel invested in their relationship as they kind of um, you know go forward and progress the film and you know have that you know final kiss at the end where the movie you know ends. Um, and another thing that kind of you know maybe I would have improved in this film is you know the the villain right Robo World is kind of mm. comically um, villainous right we would mm. hate everything for the sake of hating everything I think it would have been better to have a subplot. Where they kind of explore the yeah. politics of this world, right? Mm -hmm. um, as I said, I think before, you know, it would have been interesting. I think they kind of touched upon it, where they have, you know, these rebel faction kind of, you know, dish, you know, kind of um, sabotage Robo World's, you know, weaponry, and Robo World's kind of doing all these kind of illegal weapons, you know, you know, creating all these illegal weapons under their treaty. And you know, I think, you know, kind of maybe, you know, this conspiracy for me at least would be to have the red line um, be chosen to be shown at Robo World to kind of. Ex them for all the legal things that they're doing that would have been i think a cool subplot right having this kind of political element to it right you know yeah. these political forces and i think that would have made that movie a little bit more engaging a little more high level just to say oh there's this you know, this kind of higher thing going on but it's not just because there's, there's this race but also there's like this a higher level going on trying to expose the corruption of robo world or helping the people be free from this oppressive government yeah, yeah. um so i think that would have been very very interesting to see and do but they kind of hinted at it but you know at the same time i think that might have been just from what i was inferring um, watching this movie so i think that's you know the other thing um you know as as a you know japanese anime dub um you know the writing may be a little bit awkward but i think that's just due to the, the medium but i think you brought up a good point that you know seeing it as you know watching it's dub probably allowed me to appreciate the animation a lot more mm -hmm. um yep. so it was very interesting um some of the characters again um i wanted to see more of and some of the subplots you know maybe seemed a bit extra um in terms of how they interact especially with some of the side characters but you know those those were kind of like fun elements like here and there just to show like you know this diverse galactic movement right of all, all these other aliens in different ways but i think you know either they could have maybe shown a little bit more or maybe scaled it a little bit back but yeah. either either yeah. way it was just interesting and fun just to see these you know different animated forms of you know, different aliens and whatnot um come together so um I think it's a good movie to, you know, kind of turn your brain off and just watch it for action. <laughs> that was, I was going to say that. I was going to say that. Right? Because too, yeah. I feel like I took this movie a little bit too seriously at the beginning and I probably shouldn't have because a lot of things that kind of ridiculous happen later on, especially yeah. with the robo world and then at the end where, you know, the, the final scene is just, you know, them winning and then at the end, kiss the word love appears at the bottom. Like, oh, yeah, I really shouldn't have taken this movie as seriously as I yeah. thought in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a good film to take in stride. Uh, and not yeah. to like focus too much on like why things are happening, just like right, exactly, you know, exactly. You know. don't, 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 yeah, focus on the why, just focus on the what's the happening, what's happening, right? <laughs> right, <laughs> right? Just like, right. oh, yeah, this is a great action movie, right? The, right. the, the, the slow parts, like the action is great, right? The, the action, great. speed, the race yeah. is great, but the slower moments that they try to build up to, to, to form a story, to form a plot, I think wasn't a handle as well and could have probably handled better maybe yeah. a bit made it a bit more dramatic for us to feel invested yeah um, that would have been i think a little bit better but the final the final race where it's not just the racers and the contestants in the race but also like the whole military is after them so it's like they have to yeah. worry about like all these different factors in the dynamics and then there's a big bio like they're not bio weapon, but big like hidden weapon called funky boy that like shoots lasers and then, of course there's like a they have a hydro dis the, the disintegration cannon that they can just fire and just destroy like <laughs> I just that I mean it was more than just a race. It was like literally a race, not only to the finish but also to survive. Like I, I to survive, yeah. It was a it was a very high up like it was a very um, well like it was put together well, put together well, right? Put together so, well, yeah. Everything was put, like yeah. going all against. You really invested to seeing them push through. Push right? through, it's just yeah. all this visual, right? Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Yeah. Um, at that point, it just a lot was happening, but you, you you were really bought in. You want them to win. You want them to push forward. And, yeah. Um, I agree. That, that the whole ending sequence of the final race was, was very exciting. Very, very exciting. Yeah, I I agree. Like if 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 anything else, like just if if you're watching this film, if anything else, just at least get to the end and watch okay. that race, my final race, because it's it's, <laughs> it's it's I think it's well worth 
what, where you have to get through in the beginning where you know yeah. it could just be really confusing and you don't really know what's what's happening <laughs> um but overall yeah how would you rate this spell our final rating how i would rate this film yeah i mean as I said, I think the action was, was probably the, the main portion and, you know, what kind of I think carried the film. Um, sometimes mm-hmm. the film can be a little bit campy, but never really, you know, I, you know, I think the action kind of, you know, saved it, right? In terms of like, oh, I yeah. really, you know, the action parts really, you know, elevated this movie um, to, to you know, for, for my own enjoyment. Um, so I think as a rating, i probably just give it a five. I think like it's not not you know a terrible movie, but at the same time you know you know, you know the good portions were just you know I think just the visuals of it right of, mm-hmm. of it all just enjoying that and, you know seeing these guys really want to win the race that's probably the most exciting. But everything else like the story, the plot, you know, mm-hmm. was kind of just a bit weak um, to me, and I wasn't too invested into it. What would you? Um, so what, I, I hmm. yeah, would I recommend it? I yeah. think. Again, that's why I probably give it a five. You know, it's probably you know stuff. If you really like anime, right? If you want to watch like a like an action you know flick or this you know something exciting, you I probably recommend to watch that you know to that subgroup. But like as a general audience, I probably wouldn't say like this is something I really want to like uh, spread around and say yeah you really should watch this movie. I just say yeah it's a really good action flick um, to watch. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. For my rating, I, I'd probably give it a six. Six. Uh, yeah, I'd give it a six. Um, I mean. I um, I think the the biggest improvements that could be made for the film are the like like I said the subplots. I think there could have been a little bit more time put into relationships being built um, before everything before the final race essentially um, <laughs> could have been um, probably could have been like either you take away some subplots uh, like the ones between the racer like the the military officer and the racer they had a little bar they had a restaurant fight or something um, that whole thing was a little like extra I don't think it was really needed but yeah if you they expanded more on jp and sonashi's relationship and especially in the very beginning um as you mentioned austin i think that could have made their the the, the ending or at least the uh, um like more you know it could have been made, made their relationship more organic and and genuine so you would have, as an audience cared or perhaps cared about them more um uh but yeah i think um yeah, would I recommend it? I yeah, I, I'm in the same boat I, as you. I don't know if I would generally recommend it to anyone, uh, but like if you're into like and like I said, really like hand drawn animation when um, like a unique style regarding that animation, and then right. also like the, the just action in general, like just racing a racing film, and, and then yeah, by all means, this this I think you would enjoy this film. Just uh, you know. Just give it, you know, give it, uh, give it, give it some leeway in terms of like the the, you know, how it explains itself. But right, but 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 keep stay tuned for the action. I think the action you won't be disappointed by the action. Um, so cool. That ends our recap. Those are our ratings. That's our recommendation. Uh, that pretty much ends this stream. Whenever you watch this, I hope you have a wonderful day. We will see you next time. See ya. See ya. Bye.